So today we're looking at the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus, a bit of a mouthful, but if I just show you the very first drone they bought out in 2013, a huge improvement. Within a year, they had another drone that had their own roundish camera underneath, then by July of 2014, they bought out the Vision Plus. Uh, a huge advancement, because don't forget on this drone, you had no app, you, you, had a, you could fit a GoPro camera, and now they've got their own camera. Uh, it's a, let's get this right, it's a 14 megapixel. I find that hard to believe, but they say it's a 14 megapixel camera. So I'm just gonna go through the spec of it in a moment. So what I'm gonna do, forget about the old Phantom one now, because we tried to fly it, it didn't fly. What I will say, this will fly, but I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a moment. It's called the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus, uh, released out in 2014. It, um, it was an advanced three axis gimbal system to ensure you got steady or smooth footage. Because before, obviously, on this type of drone, there was no stability because the camera was just attached to there and it's all over the place. Um, like I just said, it's a 40 megapixel camera. 30 frames per second. It had a range of 500 to 700 meters, possible. Uh, obviously a much better uh, GPS system on it as well. M more advanced than this one, especially, um, because you still had problems. Now this one, I still had problems with it. Well, I will tell you that as well later on. Now the weight of this drone, with the battery, with the props, you can't believe this, but it weighed 1,242 grams. Just the drone itself, with, not, with no props on it, no battery, it weighed 1,160 grams. <laughs> and when you think now the Mini 3 Pro, 249 grams. Pro probably finding out the battery weighs more than the Mini 3 Pro. So, like I said, the range on it wasn't brilliant, but in those days, that was pretty good. So, what I'm gonna do now is go through the process of getting this off the ground, really. So what I've done, I've charged up the battery. Now, another good thing about, at this period, this battery also would fit your Phantom 3 standard, or your Phantom 3 Advanced, uh, which was good because I haven't got any more, I haven't got any original batteries for this type of drone. So that's a, a bonus. The props are different to these. So uh, these props will fit on the Phantom 3 standard, I believe. Camera, camera come with a, a lock and a cover. Now I noticed when the standard come out, you didn't get a cover anymore. So DJI was already sussing it out, the extras. Now you probably notice this little spanner here. Now the spanner is when you put on the props, they've got the diagram, some go on clockwise, some go on anti-clockwise, and this, it just fits in between the motors there, just to tighten them. So that was an important bit of tool. Now we come over to the controller. Now the controller, this one, actually comes with batteries. Um, now you can also, I'm right in thinking, probably a, a newer version, uh, you put in a plug there, and they're rechargeable. But I've got batteries in there, just to prove it. Batteries. Okay. Now, talking about what I said at the beginning, this little box of tricks, this is your transmission. So you don't have to connect it up to your phone or nothing, because it's Wi-Fi based drone. Now this is the only thing that's gone on my machine. And I know a lot of other people that I've been speaking to, this little box, for some reason, maybe over the years, it's packed up. So when I put on my app, which I'll tell you in a moment, I can't see, I can't actually see what the camera's seeing. Yeah, you can still control the gimbal on the app here. And uh, I'm just trying to remember certain things. So this is where your phone would go. Now some, this one, when I bought it, it was plastic. 
later on in the newer versions they had a metal arm i got the plastic i got the original still you got your aerial there you got your switches uh this is your main switch here that's for doing other things which i won't really talk about really so the camera itself is very similar to the old gopro hero so you used to get that curved effect on the screen so it wasn't horizontal it's not too noticeable when you're flying uh, and you've got the gimbal pointing down on the ground it looks nice and smooth but once you look at the horizon you will see it curved now i flew this a couple of years ago like i said i could not see it on my uh, app at all the camera but i could control the gimbal and i obviously i could change it from video to photographs photographs were fine but the only problem was what i did start to notice because i expect what it is it's just got so buggy now the camera was jittering around a bit it was moving on its own um so i think personally <laughs> it's had its day now i do know some people can get hold of these where i do not know maybe it's modification i don't know but anyway uh, one thing i will mention uh, this is from dgi now from last september september the 30th 2022 dgi will no longer provide maintenance or technical support for this type of drone so obviously they know straight away it's been having problems especially with its its app now this app is called the dgi vision app ios that's it i keep calling it the apple phone now on the apple phone you can still go on to your uh, download site and download all the apps from dgi but if you've got android if you're using google obviously you can't get them guys you won't be able to get any of the apps at all um, so you, what you have to do is go onto the dgi website but you can download them on there so you can still get hold of the vision app so i've just turned on the dgi vision app now at the moment nothing's connected so i'm just going to put that down there for the moment turn on the controller making sure that the s1 and s2 switches are upwards and turn on the transmission switch as well so that i can see the power light i'm going to turn on the drone battery double click it i'll just put that in the middle now hopefully it's just going to kick in now I know one thing I should have done. I should have just checked my Wi-Fi settings. Right. So it should come up with the drone. Because I haven't done it for so long now. <laughs> and it's not coming up with anything at the moment. Let's just check on there. No. Cancel. Ah, here we go. Right. It's going to be the Phantom. That one. Okay yep so that's all you got to remember guys making sure that you when you do the wi-fi for the drone that you've gone into your wi-fi settings and connect it so we go back into the vision app now you can see the green light you've got the phantom 612 acb so hopefully if i go into the camera settings uh yes allow now two years ago i could not get a picture on this drone at all um, so like i said i was flying blind now what i am going to do <laughs> i am going to put on the camera i'm going to put the drone facing that way i could put on the video so the video light's flashing now now unfortunately um <laughs> i won't be able to see nothing on that screen so hopefully my sd card is recording what it can see on that camera and now i'm not even thinking if i press the button at the top you can just probably make out the gimbals going upwards so i can control the gimbal on the phone still which is good now if you notice on there on my screen to the right hand side i've got a good signal i've got 99 percent battery power transmission is 100 percent satellites i've got six um <laughs> yeah i've got six satellites uh you, you you do need to get more than six satellites usually we'll see how it goes okay let's just see if we can get those props going 
Okay. This could be. Let's see if I can. Uh, Okay, so the drone itself is moving about. And that's the only problem with the Vision Plus and the standard. I'm not gonna, I'm just. Right. <laughs> what I don't want it to do is to go in the swimming pool. So that's why I brought it down, because you noticed there's no wind um, and that was one of the problems with the vision plus and the standards the standards was a little bit more stable but they did used to wander and um, the last thing i need is to put it go in that pool because at least i know that the drone worked <laughs> so what i'm going to do now i'm going to stop the video footage i will show you the video footage probably as i'm doing the video for you so you've got some idea what the video footage looks like um i'm going to retrieve the drone okay. now i could have gone out to a nice wide open area um but you, you still got to get the gist of it the drone did use to drift um so what i will do i'll come out of that now uh, i'll just show you a quick thing on the settings just to show you what you got on the settings preview quality on the, I mean obviously we couldn't see nothing so much point of that camera set and display you got everything there you got your photo format you got your ISO white balance uh, you can format if you wanted to do it on the on the drone itself um, so and that's about it really now you you could at one period um, <laughs> two waypoints but I'm just not going to do anything. As far as I'm concerned, I'm just going to turn off this app. Let's turn that off. Stop that. Okay. Turn that off. Right. Let's turn that, all that off. Guys, if, you're, if you've got a friend of yours that wants to give you this type of drone, yeah, give it a go. It's always about experimenting. But if you're thinking about buying this type of drone, especially on eBay, as you saw with my Phantom 1, didn't really work. Um, this worked, but to be quite honest, I think for a novice, it's a bit of a danger, <laughs> a big danger, because there was no control there. There was hardly any wind, and it did just drift off there. So, for a more experienced pilot, yay, I mean, I could have messed about a bit eventually, and probably, that's what I'd done before. I took it really up high. Um, but like I said, I can't, I couldn't see nothing on the screen on my vision app. Uh, so you are flying it blind. I didn't take any photographs this time. I just did the video footage. I'll hopefully I'll show the video footage. Now I did hear, even on the video footage, used to get some lines sometimes. So if you're thinking about buying this drone, guys, give it a miss. Because <laughs> it's so old now. And another thing I didn't mention with the satellites, I actually fitted it in a, a silver cover in here um, because the GPS thing is built right on the top there. But to boost it, I put in a silver bit of paper. It's giving me a couple more satellites. Um, but yeah, very sort of obviously early day type of drone, really heavy. You need a backpack to carry just that drone uh, with the controller. Like I said before, a lot of people that I've been in contact with have been telling me that these boxes have been packing up and that no doubt that's why I wasn't getting the picture. Other than that, it, it will return to home and I, I could have showed you a couple of other things, but I'm not. Like I said, I'll just show you how that phone would go in. Obviously, um, if you've got a really massive phone, that ain't gonna work very well. It just about opens it up. The other thing is you can see there it's got a bit of a wobble and that's why i was saying the the later versions putting a metal arm there i think what it was that plastic wouldn't take the strain where around it used to snap um but yeah to me it's my trophy 
Now, hopefully, it's brought back a lot of memories for a lot of other people, especially like me back in 2014. When I got, I mean, to me, that drone was amazing. Camera, you could take photographs, you could see it on the screen. It, it, from what it started off at, with a GoPro attached to a drone, a major improvement. Now, the next drone I'll be showing you will be the uh, Phantom Free Standard. Boy, that was a game changer from that to the Phantom Free Standard. Anyway, as always, guys, hope you enjoy these videos. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Anyway, as always, fly safe. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <music> you.